Okay, so let's see what all we've got over here. This stuff looks a little bit, this terrain looks a little bit different than anything else. It's like terrain is uh, shaped and everything. Check it out. What all can we find? I can see sugar cane. I can take, so I can have a pretty big sugar cane color back on maybe this sort of autumn colored grass. Uh, there tend to be, uh, what are they called? Not temples, but, well, temples and villages in areas like this. Maybe not on the grassy areas, but in the sand areas. So the map does extend, or the world does extend fairly far beyond the map, but certainly not as far as, say, a large world would. If it was a large world, it would be pretty troublesome. Because large worlds are truly pretty large. This one extends a pretty long way, though, and I do see some cactuses. What is this? I do not recognize this terrain at all. What is this? Like, is this clay? Is this, uh, clay? I assume? Red sand! Okay, now that's new. I don't know what the purpose of it is. I might need to look this up, because I have never actually seen this before. So this was one of the newer things that was added in. What is this? This has got to be clay. That looks red stained clay. Yep. Okay, so they're all offering up new types of clay and stuff in the game. That's actually really cool. Unfortunately, what is not cool is that we are very far from base and it's almost nighttime, which is not a good situation to be in. Uh, I'm going to take a couple of these cactuses, though. Might need to just uh, dig in somewhere and try to survive the night because this is not an ideal situation right now. Good thing is we're finding lots of new stuff out here, lots of new areas and new terrain that I haven't even seen myself. But again, I mean, I haven't seen any villages yet, which is not a good thing. Like, that's a little bit, uh, that's just not a good thing because I'd love to have a village because they already kind of have the infrastructure in them to be good for long-term survival because they already generally have like a good amount of food production uh they generally have a water source they, j they already have buildings in them and you can trade with the villagers as well which is a very helpful thing is you can actually trade with villagers and i found a sheep farm or not farm but a group of sheep we're gonna kill all them so i can make a traveling bed Just for somewhere out here. I can just dig a hole in the ground. We got more pumpkins and what is that? Lit up? That's probably a lava pit, actually. I would assume that's what that is. Yep, lava pit. Oh, a slime. We haven't seen any of those yet. Slimes are pretty useless. They just bounce around and try to hit you. God, there are a lot of them out here. They don't do too much, though. They aren't really that big of a threat. And that's a chasm. Bad place to encounter a slime. That's a chasm. Uh, a chasm is exactly what it sounds like. It's a freaking chasm. If you fall in it, you're probably going to die. That is a lot of freaking enemies. This is not a good situation. Uh, that stuff's probably going to follow me in a second. I'm hiding. I'm going into a hole for the night, honestly, because this, this, this is not a good situation at all. So yeah, if you ever sort of get caught out in somewhere like this, just just build like a hole in the ground. It's a very sufficient way of sort of protecting yourself just for a night if it's necessary. Uh, it's always good to have like a portable crafting table with you. Just in case you need to ever build anything, just always have a crafting table with you. It's definitely a good idea. All right, we're going to be okay, guys. We're going to sleep through the night and all the monsters are going to go away and... Things are going to be better. I am going to take this stuff with me, though, just in case. In case I get trapped out here for another night. I am also a little concerned about the food supply, even though I can probably just uh, kill other creatures to get more food if I have to. So it's not that big a deal, I guess. And he's coming after me. That's an Enderman. That Dude, dude, you're not even allowed to survive during the day. Get out of here. Slimes can survive during the day, as you can see, and there's a creeper over there. That's This is not good. I am out of food, or out of hunger. I'm not out of food, though. I can I have some food left. Uh, what do I have left? It's, oh, that's bad. I forgot to take my 
steaks that I was cooking. And I fell down in a cave, good. Actually, that is not really a bad scenario. It's probably a little safer down here, even though there's literally nothing down here. Hello, slime. Slimes, I think, can drop off slime balls, which can make some things that aren't really that useful of materials. Man, we are going so far away from base, though. This may not have been the best idea ever. I mean, I'm just, I'm out looking for villages and literally anything else that could be useful for survival. At least there are tons of these chasms and ravines and everything laying around, so we're definitely not going to have a shortage of materials. Okay, we got open ocean up here, way off the side of the map, but we're, we should be getting closer to the edge, at least on that side. Okay, I think now might be a good time to head back, because really this is not going quite the way I planned. Like I said, I was hoping for a village or something. This is new, though. This is a witch hut. Uh, these are huts where a witch will live at, and witches don't like to share. So, get in and get out quickly if they have anything. This one does not have anything of any value. Actually, I'll take the cauldron. I can use that later, and that'll save me some resources. But otherwise, it doesn't really have anything. So, yeah, they aren't the most useful places to search. And if there's a witch in there, well, that's just not a good situation at all. Because witches are among the most dangerous enemies in the game just because they have a long-range potion attack, and their potions can do just significant amounts of damage to you if you're not careful and what do we have over here okay we're back near the weird colored sand watch me just literally get completely lost and I have to make an entire new base out here before I starve to death and everything because that is a possible scenario at the rate this is going Hmm, we got more of this, uh, red-orange sand. Come on, game, like, give me a village or something that I can use. A village or a temple or an ocean temple, even though I've never actually seen one. Just give me something to work with. I mean, the sand stuff is cool and all, just not really useful for anything that I know of. Okay, we got a real big open area of land over here. What was that down there? Is that, is that anything? No, that's, I thought I saw something down there. Uh, let's eat, and I see a gigantic ice sheet in the distance. So that's similar to the way my last world was. Oh, that was freaking close. God, that was almost... That was not smart. That was really not smart. Just took a freaking leap of faith and almost completely screwed me. That's a really deep cave. We're not going to go in there. Seriously, like, nothing out here? I mean, none of this is not helping me, game. Come on, you gotta give me something. Something of value out here. Just a gigantic beach that I really don't need for anything. There's some more of those weird-looking trees. Yeah, really just the goal now is to try to get back to base. And I might end up either just cutting some... I, there's a good chance I'll cut some of this out or just at least speed up the footage or something. So be wary of that. This video might end up just being shorter because of that because I might cut out a lot of this or just at least speed it up. Look at that, that's an ocean temple. Right there, that is an ocean temple. I've never seen one before, but I can tell by the way it's forming. That's got to be an ocean temple. I got to check this out, or at least look at it. I can't do anything with the yet because I don't have armor or like a breathing potion or anything. But I'm almost positive that's an ocean temple. Okay, good. And we're actually getting back toward base, but we're still pretty far off the side of the map. Oh, yeah, now that is really, really cool looking. Dang. That looks pretty awesome, actually. 
Uh, I can't wait to check this place out. Uh, well, I'm, I want to get here, and I want to... This is going to seem really stupid to you guys, but I'm actually taking a picture of this uh, location with my phone. There we go. Now at least I'll remember that it's here for later on in the Let's Play. Okay, very good to know. And what was this? I thought I saw what looked like almost like a castle over here. Maybe it's just mountains or something, but I do want to check that out. And we're definitely moving in the right direction. We're getting much closer to home. Whoa. Okay. What is... What? Huh. Now this is very interesting looking. That's all ice. If the boat crashes, that's fine, because we gotta get out anyway. And yeah, you can switch, like, L3 and R3 will switch, like, if you crouch or not, and if your camera angle changes and stuff. God, I have never seen this before. Okay, it's actually really cool that I finally found an ocean temple. I can't wait to check that out later on, but it'll be probably quite a while till I can head back there. Because, I mean, we can't even brew yet, so... Oh, this is really, really cool, actually. Never seen a place like this before. Hmm. Okay, that's pretty awesome. Oh, crap. Long fall. Rabbits! Rabbits! Come here. Come here. You look good for dinner. Come here. Thank you. Although I don't actually kill rabbits in real life. I like rabbits. The only animals I ever... I don't really even hunt, for that matter. Not the biggest hunting fan in the world. I've just never... Partially because I just don't have the patience for it. That's a, that's a big part of it. Okay. I see cows. And I really hope I'm going in the right direction. Maybe I should have picked a small world instead. Then again, we might have had all this amazing scenery and stuff if I had picked a small world, so... There's always plus and minus to that, but a small world may have been preferable for this just because it would have been significantly easier to navigate and every bit of it would have been on the map. But I do see a jungle here, which means we're getting very, very close, actually. Okay, yeah, our base is not far from here. We're in the jungly area. Ooh, look at this. We got a melon. That is actually really good. I would eat that. But I don't really want to eat that because I want to save it because I haven't seen any other melons yet. Crap, it's almost nighttime and I'm running really low on food. I guess, though, I can always just hunt some animals if I have to. Oh, look at that. I'm back on the map. Well, perfect, actually, because we'll be able to make it back because I'm literally right through here. But now you can see why I just kind of want to get rid of areas like this, because it's really, it's not the best situation for travel. It makes it hard to run. It makes it hard to build a rail line, because a rail line can't be built on leaves. See some more melons. We're going to take these, though. Some of these for food, some of them to be replanted. Melons are a very good food source, because they grow a ton of food, and they grow relatively fast. But they are... They don't give a whole lot of food per item, though, is the only problem. And we are got to be pretty close to base by now. So this was a pretty interesting video right here. We got to see all this stuff. And since I did find my way back, I don't know if I'll have to speed up or not. I, I might speed up part of it or something. I don't know. We'll see when it comes down to that. What is... Hmm, there's a cave over there. Oh, that's the one I entered before. Okay. And I can see the house. Uh, let's see. There's no water in the area, so the one other thing I need to do at some point, I need to transport some water in so that I can build some kind of tower. That way I can find my way back more easily. Or I can build a tower nearby right over the water, and that'll work perfectly fine, so I'll probably just do that. Creeper, creeper, how I love the creeper. Who's probably going to explode on me in just five seconds from now. 
Please, Creeper, do not explode on me. He exploded on me. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. And it can, like, the sad thing is I can't hear it until after it's happened because of the way the uh, headset and everything works, because of the way the audio captures. Okay, so we're gonna build a really, really tall tower here. And we're gonna put torches all around it, just so that I have some indication of where to go if I'm in the general area, especially in the forest. Because if I can climb up to the top of it, I can easily find my way back to here. Okay, put a torch on each side. Man, it actually looks pretty cool up here. Uh, where's my cobblestone? We're gonna build a little bit higher with a second layer of torches. I should have built a third layer further down, though. That would have probably made more sense. Just a couple more. I think that's probably tall enough. So obviously, if you were to fall from this distance, you'll die if you don't land in water. But landing in water actually is completely safe. Man, got a great view of the world from up here. A lot of trees, a lot of jungle, so it's definitely going to be worthwhile to invest in a lot of flint and steel eventually. And yeah, that's actually really cool, though, is that you don't take any damage from falling as long as you fall into water. No matter how little water it is, you can literally fall into, like, a one-by-one -one block of water and you'll be fine. Hey, I can't heal at the moment. This is not good. Let's, come on, let's get into base. Let's get into base. Come on. And we're safe. Well, safe-ish. Uh, let's see. I think I am going to, well, let's finish off this bread. And then tomorrow our goal is going to be to finish up the first stage of our house and everything. And then probably start exploring some caves now that we've gotten to explore some of the world. Oh, wait, you know what? What happened to that? Ah, oh, I put the stakes in there, really, so that's what I did to them. Well, that's unfortunate, but... Hey, so yeah, tomorrow, really our goal, we're gonna try to build up the base as much as we can. I'm starving to death right now in-game, which is not good, but hey, I will see you guys next time.